Hi there, Jamie Heat here today at Teachers Tech. Hope you're having a great day today. Today I want to help guide you to choose the right free video editor for you. There's a number of ones out there. I've created a lot of tutorials over the last few years and today I want to give you what I think are the best five based on different comments I've received in the tutorials and just from general use of them. All of these will have links to more tutorials down below in the description and the download page when you're ready to kind of jump in and try them. So let's go ahead and start on this uh, these top five guide this top five guide for you for best free video editors with no watermark. So right before I jump in here, I just wanted to mention when I'm done the top five that I think they're the top five, I am going to mention a couple other ones after that that might be on your operating system already that if you're looking for simple video editors, they could do the trick for you. And also another one that um, I'm kind of excited about uh, when it comes out uh, that uh, it could be one that I do on a list like this uh, next year for one of the top five. But, uh, and the other thing is I just wanted to mention too, I don't use these to create my videos on YouTube. I use Cam. Tasia. I'll put a link down to that uh, too that you can check that out if you're wondering how that works. But uh, these I'm just demoing uh, this and kind of walking through which ones if you're looking at more video editing rather than screen capture that I do. Now number one uh, and this has been uh, I probably say number one for the last few years that whenever I've recommended one is DaVinci Resolve and now we're on DaVinci Resolve 17. I've been using this since DaVinci Resolve 14. Uh, the one thing uh, I would suggest if you're interested in, in using DaVinci Resolve is that you're kind of more serious about growing and learning about it if you're a beginner. Uh, this is great but you're gonna there's a little bit more of a learning curve to go through with different things but if it's something of real interest uh, to you DaVinci Resolve is a great one. Uh, the other thing just to note uh, before you install it or anything uh, do check out the system requirements and do this on all the uh, different video editors you can just google it or go to the pages uh, for instance, this is DaVinci Resolve. Uh, I know with this one, I've used it on my Windows and, and Mac machine, uh, and if you're Linux, it will work there too. But uh, make sure you have enough power, uh, your video card and everything to run DaVinci Resolve, because if you don't, it's not gonna be very fun uh, to use, and one of the other uh, video editors might be a better choice for you. So do check the system requirements before you go. Now, just going back over to DaVinci Resolve here, uh, when you download it, just go ahead, hit download, and you can see it comes up DaVinci Resolve 17 beta, and we have, you can just click, if you're on Mac, Windows, or Linux, go ahead and click it, and it'll ask you for some, uh, to fill it in. Uh, and you can see there's 16 here too. I have tutorials for both of these down below. I'll just pop it open so you can take a quick look. So this is DaVinci Resolve 17, it's all opened up here. I'm under, if you look towards the very bottom, I'm under the edit. I've already brought in some of my videos, some uh, audio. Uh, I can bring in images too. Uh, if I was going to go to cut, this is where I'd get more detail, but this is where I would start as the beginner under this edit uh, command here. Uh, this is my media over here. If I do a little preview, I'll take the playhead. I'll just hit my space bar and you can kind of see what it looks like here. Uh, we have our editing tools that we can go through. We can just pull back these clips if we wanted them shorter uh, on it. So you just grab the ends of these ones. We have our slice tool that you can be cutting into places very similar to other uh, ones too. Now, I just want to point out we have our effects library where you can see where we can add our titles, video transitions, audio transitions, uh, open effects. We also down below in the bar, so if with uh, with uh, DaVinci Resolve 17 or any of the DaVinci Resolve uh, since 16, I believe, we have Fusion where if we're adding uh, different effects through here, we have color balancing and you can see how powerful of a program this is and then we get into uh, what we can do with our audio and at the end when you're done, you hit deliver and this is where you export it out to be if you wanted it to be for a YouTube channel or maybe just even on your your computer and that's where you would uh, export it from here but again very powerful free program I think this is the most powerful free program programming take a look at the tutorial that I have down below that will walk you through uh, getting started with DaVinci Resolve if you haven't seen it before the next one I really like is HitFilm Express. Now there are pro versions to a lot of these ones. Uh, again, I'm just talking the free one HitFilm Express here. Uh, and I'm just gonna go ahead and click on this, download HitFilm Express to show you something here. So when you click on this, 
what you'll notice it, it looks like you have to pay $19 US. Just drag this back here and then hit download. Uh, and then you've got to make sure you sign up with uh, your uh, email. So you'll get an email, then you'll download it from with the using an installer there. Uh, and you'll be able to download it on Mac or on your Windows uh, machine. But then you've got to make sure that you log in. I know in previous versions, uh, people wouldn't log in, they'd have watermark. So watermark would mean if, you, if you're unfamiliar with that, would be something written across it that you can't get rid of um, when you're finished your movie. So make sure you're registered, uh, you're logged in as your free uh, account on your HitFilm Express. But after you do that, uh, it should be fine and you're good to go. I'm gonna pop it open here so you can take a look at it to see if it's something that you would like. Here's HitFilm Express all open and you can see right away we have our media that I brought in over here and a lot of these are always customizing. You can uh, pull these apart if you want to, uh, if you have multiple uh, monitors on your computer too. But uh, you can see here uh, any of this media that we can just bring in and drag into place into the timeline on the other side. We have multiple, uh, uh, multiple video channels, layers that we can create by just dragging, if I drag more up, you can see it gets uh, created. Same thing with the audio too. Uh, we have our preview window that uh, any of these that we can check uh, t uh, in this window, but then over here is where we're working on it. And just to point out uh, the different effects that you have, I'll click on it here. Uh, you can see the as I go through, you have your transitions for audio, video, and all these different ones that uh, all you're gonna do. If it says add-on, this would be something you need to purchase. But other than that, uh, these ones you drag and you can adjust it uh, over here or in the properties. But again, uh, dive deeper into the tutorial uh, down below. I'll put the link down. But this is something, this is a video editor I like. It's just the way it's nice and clean. Uh, the interface available on Windows or your Mac. Uh, and yeah, I've, I've enjoyed using this one. I've had a lot of good results, a lot of good comments about uh, how people have used it too. Shotcut is another one I really uh, enjoy using. Uh, the tutorial that I had has well over a million views on this one. People really like this and the uh, comments about people using this has been really positive. So uh, shotcut.org, uh, you can see uh, down below in the link from there and then you can just click to download completely free cross-platform whether you're on Windows, Mac, Linux, uh, later download too and then you quick install and you're ready to go on this one. So I'm going to open this up. Uh, I would almost, I was going back and forth between which one I like better, Hit Film or Shotcut. Uh, I just like the user face a little bit better in Hit Films, but uh, Shotcut is a great one uh, to use too. So I have Shotcut open here to give you a quick little uh, idea of what you're getting into if you download this one. I have my media that I've just uh, brought in over here and then I brought it down to my timeline. I can still add my more tracks. If you go over here, I have track options where we can add more video tracks and, one, and more get created that I can just drag in uh, down below just like this or I can delete them here. Control Z works normal just like in all the other programs to back up on it. We have our audio that we can make more tracks too. Now if I go across the top, we do have our filters. If I click on filter, uh, I have to make sure I have something selected first that we can go through. And if I hit the plus right here, you can see the different ones that we can start uh, to work with between the size of, uh, position of the of the clips and we can adjust the you know different things like color grading, contrast, uh, we could work with the audio here. So that's how you're going to add it. We also, if I close this down, you can take a look. We have things like key frames that we can add to on it. And then we have our export over here. So a little bit of a different uh, feel to it with, uh, uh, with just the general look and how it operates. But once you get past, uh, if, you, if you've used other video editors before and just kind of know where things are, people have really liked uh, Shotcut. But anyway, this is number three on my list. We're going to move to the next one, uh, which is actually only uh, available on Windows, but I really like uh, all the different features it has for a free one. So this is VSDC Video Editor, and I'm 
talking about the free video editor in this one. They do have a pro version that's only like $20 on it. I actually have a coupon that gets you 50% off of that. So if you wanted all the functionalities, um, it would only cost like $10, but the free version works completely great. And I know a lot of people that use it. You can check under downloads up top here. You go to video editor, click on it. Uh, it's only a uh, little under 90 megs, the file here. Remember, this is only for Windows here. Uh, download free video editor and just go through, download it, install it. Uh, and I'm gonna open it up here because it does have a little different look than the other ones. But again, once you learn how things are happening in it, uh, this is one that you might like. Here's a quick look at the VSDC free version here. I've already brought in again some of the media to it. It's a little different with maybe some of the terminology if you're used to some of the other programs because I can drag uh, different media right in. If I go ahead and open this up, I can drag from my folder uh, and bring it right into uh, my timeline like this. I can move these around just like the other ones. I can drag them. I can, uh, you can see that the audio is on the bottom one here, but in this one, I don't have to. I can use the arrows to move around uh, to it too. Now, if you're just adding uh, media from up here, you're gonna be thinking about adding objects. So you can uh, see we have images, audio, video, and then I'd go find the folder and I could bring it in, but I can add all all the different things like uh, text and different shapes uh, from here. We have our video effects that I can just drag on top of uh, on top of the different clips and everything quickly. We have our cutting and splitting tools. When I go through, I can clip uh, just like the other tools and the other video editors that I can go through. But I like uh, if you have a little slower uh, computer, this could be a very good one for you. I just find it uh, not as heavy, as, especially compared to something like uh, DaVinci Resolve. So. Uh, uh, if you if you do know you're struggling uh, with your machine about not being powerful enough and it's Windows, give this one a try. It could be the right fit for you. So to round out the top five, I have OpenShot. And now any of these video editors I could place in a different order depending on uh, what the skill set of the person is. And now this one, if you want simple, I would say this is the simplest one out of all of them. Uh, easy to learn and has lots of features that you can just jump in right away. Uh, cross platform, uh, you can see how it's on Windows, Mac, Linux uh, on this one too. Easy download to go through. You can see up top, we can just click download, uh, just go through do the install and it'll be on your machine right away I'm gonna go ahead and open this give you that quick walkthrough so you know the look uh, uh, what it looks like I do have my tutorial for this one down below a uh, lot of good positive feedback from this one from all the different comments I've got on that tutorial too this is your quick view of what OpenShot looks like. I've already brought in some files here, some video, some uh, and some audio. I've already brought this down into the tracks. So I can bring more in just by simply dragging it down. Notice as soon as I, I can put it in whatever layer, I can move it around, trim it like I did with the other ones. Uh, right away, if you look over on the left uh, side of these, I can quickly start even uh, changing this. So as I drag, uh, it's changing the location through here. Uh, I can go through and make those changes uh, to it and it just kind of go through the list. And if you had audio, you can make the adjustments right here. We have transitions that we can put into place Place. We have our effects that we can bring down very, very quickly. And you can see all the different editing uh, tools that we have here. Like I said, I think this is the easiest one and that's the feedback that I've uh, gotten from people before. I have uh, The one thing I've noticed sometimes when videos get a little longer in this one, it can uh, have some issues uh, with some lagging. Uh, so do know that if, uh, if you're experiencing some lag and having some problems, maybe try a different one. But again, for getting started, this is a great one. The user face is super friendly. Um, doesn't uh, if you're new to it, doesn't really overwhelm you with all the different uh, options to it, like maybe a different G Resolve would. So this is the one I'm excited to see when it comes out is Olive uh, 0.2 here and it's coming soon. Now Olive is another uh, great video, uh, free video editor. So I, I didn't put it on my top five list yet. I have a feeling when this comes out, uh, I'll be really interested in playing with this one uh, and uh, learning more about it. And I think it could be really good. So uh, you could take a look at the uh, version that they have now, which is a good free video editor. Uh, if you just go ahead, get Olive and go from there and give it a try. I'll have a tutorial on this one when it comes out.
So I just wanted to point out, and this is on my top five list, but if you're looking for a super simple video editor and you're on Windows 10, there is one built into Windows 10. And I have a tutorial on that one, but just to show you, if I go down, and a lot of people don't realize it's there, I'm gonna just type video editor and you can see, here it is right here. So uh, I'm just gonna hit cancel on here. So very simple format. It's not as powerful as some of the other free ones I showed you, but if you're just looking at trimming and putting things together to tell a story, this could work for you. You're just gonna add your media into here. You can drag things down, uh, change the order that things play. Uh, we can go through and trim each clip. We have background music. We could add custom audio, uh, custom audio. We have a few different things like text and motion we can add to it. But I know a lot of people that really like this is because it's so simple and and if they don't have a lot of needs to their video editing, this could work and it's right on your Windows 10. So take a look at that. Like I said, I have a tutorial down if you want to know how to use all the features of this great simple product on Windows 10. So the last one I just wanted to mention, if you're looking for a video editor and you're on a Mac, is don't forget about iMovie. And if you're, you could be using this on your phone or iPad too. Uh, it's a very simple video editor that you can create great looking videos uh, if you just keep things very, very simple and has uh, different effects. You can still do things like green screen and others uh, to it. But once you bring in your media, it's easy to manipulate, to change, uh, to, to, to get what you wanted, to add your audio you're not going to get your your all your multiple multiple layers like you might in some of the other ones but if you're looking for that starting place for a video editor don't forget about iMovie it's a great place to start if you're on a Mac so I hope this adds some insight in helping you choose the uh, the right free video editor for you. It can be challenging. You might have to try multiple ones to see how they work on your computer and to know where you want to go. Is it just like a little weekend pro uh, project that you want to quick trims and splits of clips and put it together with some audio? Or do you want to go a little bit further uh, and need you know a little bit more out of your video editor? Remember, all the tutorials are, are going to be there down below and I'll also have new ones come out as they're getting up updated too. Uh, so if you're looking to stay uh, in touch, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that little bell notification uh, to let you know when, uh, when the new ones come out. Thanks for watching this week on Teacher's Tech. I'll see you next time with more tech tips and tutorials.